something that you, some type of logo that you would like. I already downloaded this logo here. It's right here on the screen. I'm going to do a Fendi logo. I'm not going to download this over because I just downloaded it. So, um, I clicked on this one, I think. Or maybe this one. Whichever one. I don't know. Maybe it's this one or this one. You want to just right click it. And save it as image. And then just save it. And I did another Fendi logo. I don't see it. Where is the Fendi logo? Okay. This one here. I think I did this one. Yeah, this one. I did this one. Just right click it, save it. Sometimes you can just right click it and copy. Well, like when you're on a Mac or whatever. And you can go to your image preview. Go here, go to cancel, go to file, go to new from clipboard. And it'll give it to you right here. Copy it in Photoshop or whatever. What we need to do now is go, go to file. I'm I'm gonna do I'm gonna do all three, but I'm just gonna do one at a time, I guess. Press start. Wait for it to process. Click download. What? Okay. Allow multiple downloads. Download again. Okay. Okay, so now we want to go in the blender. Go to file, go to import, go to SVG. Find your SVGs. I'm just going to click on this one here. Right. Well, I don't need the I don't need this hex here. What we're gonna do is we gonna shift click each one of the curves. Go to tools, go to join. So we wanna join everything together. I'm just going to move it up a little bit. What we're going to do now from here is go over here to the blue. What's it called? Data. Object data. On your curve. Go to fill. Go to none. Then from there you want to go over here to object mode. Go to convert mesh from curve. From there you get you get something like this. I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit. What you wanna do now is press F. No, sorry. You're in object mode, go to edit mode, press A, and then press F for fill. That's gonna fill everything in, as you can see. But it didn't cut out my D. So what we're going to do from here, go back in edit mode, click the enter. I want to separate it. I want to press P. Separate that. Now what you want to do, I guess, shift click this one, go to edit mode, edit, and go to knife project. So I'm going to hide this one. Go here, go to edit mode, and go to X, and go to faces. And I'm going to delete this one. Now we have something looking like this. Go back to edit mode.
S E and then uh what is it right click and then bring it up a little bit however you want it to look so back in object mode so we have something like this let me change the color because it's black um let's go with this color here all right so this is what it's looking like I go up on this side your uv image editor and go to shading and well i could go to unwrap smart uav and that's how you unwrap your text 